Like, Len, I think I'm forget not, about I'm, the series. Forget about the series. I'm the, saying, I just gave you an example. I came up with an example now. You're getting into the semantics of the example. Yeah. All I'm saying is that with the knowledge that she has, connections that she has, create your own platform. Instead of whining about 100,000, 150,000 that they're paying you, create your own platform just like they did. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. Jive for me if you're ready for your set. Yes, jive for me if you're ready for your set. Len, do you know this one? Do you know this one? Of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up on music, man. This is right up his alley. Yeah. Mm. Right to this. Of course. You can't not, not be dancing to this. So this, so, so this is like in the league of Madonna, so Collins. <laughs> no, it's an age after. An age after. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's an eon after. An eon. When did you guys that realize Uri, Uri Mzexman is DJ Spoo? Took me a while. He was at a concert that I attended and he took off the mask uh, while he was backstage. And that's when I realized that, oh, snap. Actually, you are thinking. DJ Smooth. Because I, I happened to be working at that concert. Mm. Backstage vibes, what what type of vibes. Yeah. So I saw him taking the mask off. I'm like, wait, like, it's you. No, it's it's you. <laughs> <laughs> kind of thing. I think lady? because of I've never had that experience that Len had, I'd be all those people that still debates. I'd like, I need proof. <laughs> but I do believe he is. He is at the end of the day. You're still questioning that today? No, I'm not questioning it. Oh. But, you know, some things until you see them, then you'd know that it is actually. And for me, it was a mind fuck. Yeah. I, I think was that's at, what I'm stuck on. It's like, it literally just. I was at, I was at YFM. Yeah. And he was doing a voiceover. Okay. So he had to do, he had to do a voiceover as Mzix man. Wow. So he's there in the booth. He does a voiceover as Smoo. Yeah. And then they're like, all right, can you do it as an six man? Wow. And all of a sudden, he changes his voice. I'm like, no ways! <laughs> <laughs> do you think With he's... The mask? <laughs> do you think he's... It was crazy, oh, man. Yeah. Do you think he's got, like, multiple personality... Is it a disorder? No. Multiple personality T- disorder. disorder. MP. Is there such a thing? Yeah, no, no, you get those. It's like, it's like bipolar or something. Mm. Like, no, oh, type no. of thing. I think it's, it's just, just a an good alter act. ego. It's an ah, alter, alter ego. Alter ego. Like all. Sasha Fierce and yeah, Beyonce. Yeah, Sasha Fierce and Beyonce. Oh, it's like Len and Leonce. Yeah, boy. Yeah, okay. But what's the difference between Len and Beyonce? <laughs> They're the same. No, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> that is alter ego. Anyway, and uh, what do you Welcome to ladies and gentlemen. We're recording on a Wednesday night. First oh. time ever. Ever, ever, Is it? Ever. Yes. Yeah. We've never done uh, a show during We've the week. We've never done a Wednesday night. Well, I yeah. Never. Um, and I was actually thinking, we could actually record every day, if you think about it. What about God, like that? <laughs> you are starting there, my You God. are starting. We made it. It's you a are, Wednesday you night. Are sta- you are starting there, my And this unemployment, ne? <laughs> you are starting there, ne? You know what we could do? Okay. We could do... I can record the Tuesday episode on Monday. Yeah. So we record normal Monday, Tuesday episode. And okay. during the week, we'd record the celebrity one. Yeah. And then that goes up on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. And then we record Wednesday nights as well. And then we'll go up on Thursday. Thursday. We record and Thursday to go up Friday. And then we have Black Friday. I get uh-huh. on so Friday. there's two episodes, Celebrity and Black Friday. And yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Look at mm. you getting uh, getting our chillers excited. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, tell us, tell us, how do you want the whole us, thing? Hey, you're <laughs> okay now. Oh, <laughs> tell us how you want this thing. To, tell us how you want this thing to be broken down. Yeah. I mean, look, we are here on a Wednesday. What do you normally do on a Wednesday? I go to gym. Okay, Jeez. so I, I could have been like sweating it out, mm-hmm. sweating it out. You know, taking care of. The I gave up. Body. I gave up on gym a long time. I even canceled my contract, man. Dude, I think I need to go back to. gym. I think I'm dying, guys. What do you my mean you need to go sore. back to gym? <laughs> Have you ever been to gym? <laughs> when? <laughs> this is my bed right here. Mm, respect gym? us. I need to exercise, basically. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. You know how bad he is at exercise, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, earlier in the year, you know when you lie to yourself, you're like, yeah, no, this year I'm going to live healthy. Okay. Uh, we're like, yeah, no, we're going to start running. Oh, cool. So we, we, we do, like, he comes to my house and then we start running. 500 meters into the run, it's like, hey, my ankle, <laughs> My, ankle, my, ankle. my toes, my toes are itchy. 
So now he's trotting about. My ab- elbow. <laughs> so now he's trotting about and he's killing my rhythm because in the run that I do, if I'm going to run five kilometers, I want to do it in under 30 minutes. So now... Look at I, you talking about five kilometers like it's such a huge accomplishment. Five kilometers is nothing, Len. Uh, after is, December drinking. It's a lot, ne? After December drinking. Uh, no. I told you, I do 21Ks. 21Ks? Yeah. Damn. Well... For last a bronze year. medal. That was last year. <laughs> no, just to uh, just to arrive. <laughs> not even forget about bronzes and arrive. So making you come does not take a lot. Hey! Uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but, no, but, I mean, but my I mean, it does I, not no, take a lot. No, guys, no, you you missing my narrative. We're talking about running here. <laughs> well, well, Which you, marathon you... are you? Uh, come on, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not there. Anyway, welcome to ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we couldn't get a celebrity this week. <laughs> They're all afraid. <laughs> I, I, sh- I think we Just like sta- we predicted. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should have started with Eminem's song. I'm not afraid <laughs> to take a stand. <laughs> so, Everybody. <laughs> so, which is why we decided to do a Q&A. We asked you guys to send through some questions. Uh, yeah, let's get straight into them, man. That's a lot, mm. eh? Hey, there's a lot, there's eh? There's a lot. Mm, there eh? is a lot. Okay, let me start. What is this thing? All right, cool. I can start for you. All right, what's the first one? Okay, what's cool. The first, the first one, one uh, came through via the community on YouTube, on our yeah. YouTube channel, Podcast and Chill with Meg G, from Kate Holoke. He or she asks, Meg G, why you never mention your father? Hey! Whoa. Wow, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> it's Kate. Who's asking this? Uh, I don't know. Like, I don't have a relationship with him. I was brought up by my mother. Mm-hmm. So she's been like my mother and father. At the same time. Yeah. And it's weird. Like people, when they ask you, hey, why do you never talk about your father? Or, who's your father? Or, what? It's like to me, I, oh, this is all I know. Look. You know, I don't know. Eh? Uh, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> You've never watched Star Wars, isn't it? Uh, okay, cool. So I don't know what it's like to being being raised with both parents. Oh, okay. So this is my reality. Your reality. Maybe that's why I do not this way. <laughs> <laughs> Papa, it's all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> but we're cool, man. We're cool. Like, uh, for the past three years, we chat. He's got my WhatsApp number. We WhatsApp. All right. Yeah. No, but the reason why I said but look. So there's... Uh, is it fuck I, forgot, I just forgot the names of the characters on Star Wars. There is a famous line that says, Look. Actually, not look as in like Luke. It's Luke Skywalker, the name. Mm. Luke. Mm. Luke. Oh. I am your father. Mm. Mm. Do you know that line? Yeah. No, you don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> For the sake of the podcast. <laughs> I once did a prank. <laughs> when I said why. Okay. <laughs> You've said the story before. Have more, I told it? To no, more, I don't yes. know it. And he was to who? you did the story to that other guy who does a show on this other popular radio station yeah, yeah, in the yeah, country, yeah. yes. And you were pretending to be his father. But I have I told her on the pod? Yes, you have. No, I'm very I upset don't know with you. It. Yes, you have. I've told her on the pod. Yes, you have. Lane, just let him tell it. No, I want to hear it. <laughs> I'm talking like other five thousand who does who don't know. You no, know, it sounds like DSTV. Why do no, you repeat? <laughs> I did a prank. Um, so there was this guy who was part of the Y Academy. He had like a very deep, deep voice. Mm-hmm. Vex. Vex, ne? Yes. Is that his name? Yes. So we called up like some, um, a bunch of YFM DJs at the time. I think we called Mpo my boy. And then Mpo my boy answers. She's like, hello. He's like, hi. Uh, you know, there's something I've been wanting to tell you for the longest time. Uh, my name is Wada Wada. And I'm your father. <laughs> We called Chilliam. Chilliam is like, ah, Teddy, your fa- your son is famous. <laughs> Are you serious? You know what's funny about the whole thing? Not the story. Yeah. The way how he tells it so verbatim from the last time. Okay. He literally mentions them, Puma boy, like, boom, moves along. Chilliam, he gets excited. Ah, Teddy, your father's famous. And then he's going to get to that other guy who works for that popular radio station that is not going to be mentioned on this podcast. Oh, yeah, okay. so that guy, we call him. <laughs> he's like, how oh, serious? You're my father. <laughs> he's like, yes. Uh, you know, I, sh- I don't know how to tell you, but I feel like it's time for me to come out. He's like, yo, 
Okay, I. When can we meet up? <laughs> That's foul, man. <laughs> I don't. I don't actually think. I don't think it's funny. I don't think it's funny. <laughs> you know, Frank. he was concerned, bro. He's like, Sarah's all this time. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I don't think no, it's funny. You know what? Actually, it can be touching. <laughs> if you genuinely want your dad. <laughs> no, but look at it. In 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 a society, I think and it's better I, if you get the people like you know, Bochile M, <laughs> who receive you like ah, daddy, <laughs> your son is so your son is famous. Yeah, it's easier. But then you get those who get touched. Like no, I so think then, people. I, I think that's something that will generally get people touched because we 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 live amongst people who actually don't have that privilege. Yeah, okay, oh, yeah, 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 Len, we get it. Yeah, hey, shut yeah. up, yo. <laughs> we get it. So then I called him after the prank. Um, I'm like, yo, dude, that was a prank. He's like, fuck you, my man. <laughs> if you put that shit on air, I'm going to fuck you up. And then he hangs. <laughs> then you put it on air. No, 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 oh. I didn't. I couldn't after that. Oh, it's, a, it's a prank that's in the archive somewhere at the YFM <laughs> Studios. It never went out on air. Good. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, Jittery says, when is Len doing a weekly sports football podcast? We can add it to that list that we've just compiled now. What? The prank list. No, man. <laughs> the recording. I agree. He said, Monday, we are doing this. Tuesday, this. Friday. Bro. Ah, but you got work, dude. You got work, bro. We, you can't then, shoot then every day. Then we might day. as well scratch out our second uh, recording. No, we can just do it on Sunday for Monday. Oh, no, but you, you, you're the, not going to do that. Dude. The sports don't even, one just drops on Monday. Nah, no. Len, don't even lie. Don't even we can lie. have the first episode out this Monday. Nah, Len. You want to bet? Let's bet. Okay. What are we betting? What do you want to bet? If you can find my father. <laughs> <laughs> if you can re- reunite me with my daddy. <laughs> so, that I, dog. so I can be a better man <laughs> going forward. <laughs> I don't want to laugh, but <laughs> no, like on the real, I'm serious. <laughs> and the fucked up thing is, I look exactly like him. You look like your dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah I look like my dad. You know what? The, the and pop- my son looks like him as well. You know what's crazy? There's a popular saying that you end up looking like your dad, especially mm. if he was denying you. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Because a lot of people have said to me that I'm a spitting image of my father. Was he denying you when you were born? Mm. Mm. All right. So what's that? Hmm? Bet. I don't know. What are you betting? Let's bet whatever. I don't know. What do you want to put on the table? Um. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You've got nothing. <laughs> you want to give me the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> and the ghost lady, everything. <laughs> and that well, would be podcast chill with Len. <laughs> I don't know. I'll get you. Oh, you've got FIFA 20. I'll get you an Arsenal shirt, the new one. I have. Ah. <gasps> what do you know. get a man who's got everything? Wow. <laughs> Okay, we'll find something. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. We'll find something. So, um, Monday, this update coming... Update his playlist, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get me a song. Mm. Yeah, he'll get you a okay, song. Okay, cool. So, this Monday, a sports podcast has to go up. Okay, cool. Okay, shut up. Yeah, uh, DOCF Live says, I'm just waiting for my banner to interview Makadzi from Venda. I can show you everyone from Venda will watch the video. Hashtag Haka Matokori. Ma- Mato Rokisi. Who's Makazi now? Makazi, she's like fucking the black coffee of Limpopo. Oh, wow. She's huge, massive. There's a song she's called Haka Matakorisi Haka. Haka Matakorisi Haka. So when it you came out she, like a month she's ago. She's like it's the big. black coffee. Is she like Venda? the Shoma Josie of the Venda? Josie, that's what yeah, she's Shoma Josie of oh, Venda. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Next door. Yeah. yeah. Next oh. door. Massive, massive. He recently did a song with Dira. Didn't you see it on his, on his Insta feed and whatnot? You're asking the wrong person. Yeah. Do you know Dira? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, chiki chiki cha. He, he's one of the uh, the big six. Yeah, mm. but him and um, I mean her and um, who's this guy? Monada, King Monada, mm-hmm. the big two in the oh. They own Limpopo. Yeah, they, they own, own Limpopo. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. With Shoma Jose being the big three. No, Shoma Jose. No, it's sh- well, Mac- well, yeah. Uh, Katleho Ramodika says, what's your long-term vision for the podcast? And for you, MacG, are you putting plans in place to see yourself get back onto radio? Have you contacted the relevant people? I see the vision. However, are you putting yourself out there? That's a very, very, very good question, man. 
Um, okay, let me answer the first part. Long term vision for the podcast. Fucking hell. I don't know about you guys, but I see Every this thing. <laughs> Are we going to play Sunday blues on Sunday? Nah, no, that's extreme. I'm just asking. No, like, like I, yo, I, have, a, I, have, um, I have a huge vision for the podcast. Yeah. The only thing that's lacking for that vision to come alive is... Chankura. Yeah, it's just Chankura. Like any black person yeah. that's starting a startup. Yeah. It's yeah. finance. Yeah. The vision is there. Mm. I cannot disclose a lot because it's so good. If I tell it out wow. and someone who has money, <laughs> they'll be rich. <laughs> For a very long time. For a very long time. But yeah, they won't but, have yeah. the ghost lady though. So yeah, they won't have the ghost lady, but the the, the, the business model of oh. what I want to do. There's even a business model? Yeah, dog. Yeah, wow. Fuck, dude. Hey, we are left out. We're eh? left out. There's a, there's a, are yeah, we part of the model? Of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. Are we models in the model? Yeah. Of course. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. But my vision is huge, bro. Like, I think if I had the right... Also, you need a team. You need a team. Yeah, definitely. You know? Because maybe right should, now, maybe you should also get interviewed on a Black Friday, you know. You may be, you know? yeah, it's interview podcast. Then you interview yeah. my guy, he must explain. But <laughs> the short term plan is, is, is to obviously take the podcast um, nationwide. nationwide, so to do tours, yeah, go to other Aren't provinces. Are going to Lesotho in December? I don't know. Has it been never told we've, been, we've been invited, yeah. Let's go then. What are we waiting for? Hey, this guy, yeah, let's go. So we're invited, and the, there's the fans to take us there, even. I don't know about, but we'll talk about the nitty gritties. But we were invited to Lesotho. That's all I know. Oh, sweet. So, to answer the first question, short term plan is to take the podcast nationwide, go to different provinces, do live broadcasts from there, mm. interview people, meet our subscribers all over. Yeah, yeah. That's the short term uh, goal. So, we'll probably get into that next year. Ne? Ne more ben? Definitely. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Bigger plan. Hopefully, you guys will watch it materialize. But yeah, uh, I've got hopefully an idea. You watch it. Yeah, I've got an idea that will shake the industry, man. Like, it will change broadcasting forever. Forever. Yeah. Rumor has it that's already... Forever, ever. But, okay, I'll up. Yeah. Mm. All right, what was the other question? question? Are you putting plans in places here? Get back... Dude, you know I've been trying to get... Who? Um, are you putting plans in place to see yourself get back onto radio? radio. Mm. Yeah. I've been trying to get back onto radio since I started this thing. Which has been over a year now. Ne? Yeah. And what I've realized is... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know that saying that when you make plans God loves at you yeah. I don't think I'm meant to go back onto radio yeah. I have a funny suspicious feeling that this is what I'm meant to do Yeah. because every time I try to go back into radio it just, it just never happens yeah. like what happened is um, when I left 947 and even when I was at 947 I was trying to get out <laughs> serious yeah for like I've been trying to get to Metro for like four years. Okay. Because when they gave I under MVP like six hour show, I realized okay, I <laughs> you are not the MVP. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I They gave it like a six hour show. Did you ask yourself, King Molay Fig Mare? So I'm like, ah, it's time to duck. That's when I started reaching out to Metro. So for like four years, I've been emailing Metro to say, hey, cool, this is who I am, this is what I've done, boom, 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 do a slot. And every year, nothing ever happens. Yeah. Uh, this year, because uh, I get to the fiscal starts in April. April, yeah. Yes. Um, um, my programs manager was now still the, my ex-programs manager, when I started at Y, he's now the programs manager of Y. So he hit me up and he said, I'm going to send him a demo because uh, 7 to 10 was open. You still audition. Hey, dude, what can you do? Beggars can't be choosers. Yo. So he said, I'm going to send an audition. That this was in April. YFM. This is for YFM. Wow. Was it this year, ne? Like, yeah, it was. Well, yeah. t- t- yes, this year. It was this this year, year, yeah. This year, yeah. So me and Lakika, we did a dope ass. Yeah. Well, it clearly wasn't dope enough. <laughs> but we thought it was killer. Wow. We did a demo for YFM uh, for 7 to 10 at night, ne? Mm. Yeah. They didn't like it. So that fell through. And then came the big break. The big dog said, Msunari. <laughs> the wow. industry shook. <laughs> <laughs> and you thought, wow, this is yeah. an opportunity. Hit up uh, Metro FM again. Mm-hmm. Sent through my demo, sent through everything. Now even we've got the podcast. Sent the numbers yeah. of the podcast to say, hey, this is what I've been doing. Boom, boom, boom. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. So well, it I took think two people to actually be better than one of him. Oh. But gay ass call up. <clears throat> so, 
So I'm starting to think that I'm actually not meant to go back onto radio. Yeah. And the funny thing is, the more I think about it, if I do go back onto radio, I think it would be literally for the paycheck. The sa- Thank you. Because I'll be, I don't think I'll be as creative as we are allowed to be on this platform. Mm. You are oh, creative. You. <laughs> <laughs> because there's no rules here. <laughs> so my handle is MacG Unleashed. If I go back to radio, I think it will be MacG on a leash. <laughs> That's what it should have been for a while. <laughs> <actually>. <laughs> so I don't know. It's a catch twenty two. I love radio, yeah, man. I love yeah, radio. Yeah. But I think we've got but something this is like radio. This is just another form of radio. Yes, and new school so radio. And we have so much fun, dude. I yeah, can't exactly. picture I can't picture doing anything else. It's so weird that uh <clears throat> a lot of the questions that came through are actually in regards to him asking, going back going back to radio. To radio. So in essence, this should actually be... Well, the chillers have actually asked the questions. We'll go through them. Yeah. But one thing that we need... Something is playing, yes. I think it's your phone. First released in Japan on July 1999. Uh, Japan song. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, must be recording Japan. <laughs> in July 99. <laughs> so, like, a lot of the questions that came through, right? they all about... Like, hey, sir, so have you gone through the questions? Yes, I have. Oh, shit. Uh, I didn't go through any of the questions. Okay, well, minus the one asking about... So most father. of them is about when I go back yes. onto radio. What drove you guys to start the podcast? Uh, this is coming from Kamohelo Miti. Oh, okay. So what happened... What happened was... <laughs> uh, after 947... Um, uh, I was having a family barbecue. Yeah. What are you doing in your phone, Kuzli? No, I'm busy checking because I, I think um, I was also sent the questions. Oh, yes. so oh you're just, checking questions yes, on, on Instagram? Anyway, I don't know. Oh, yeah. okay, cool. Yeah. Um, where was I? You were... Oh, why we started? Yes. So, yeah, so so when when I got retrenched from 947, uh, I was like, I because they their contract runs... I get it, the radio fiscal starts in April, April but huh? their contract ends in June. So oh. if you are, if they fire you or you're retrenched, by June is too late to get another gig. If you're not too hot. Because <laughs> okay. the stations have already done their lineup. All right. So by June, I was like, ah, cool. Let me start this podcast thing until next year, April. And then hopefully I'll get a radio gig. So it was just literally to keep busy. To keep busy. You know, because you know, out of mind, out of sight. Yeah. Eh? Out of sight, out of mind. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It was literally just to get big, uh, busy. And then it grew legs of its own. Okay, and so in, and in, then I hit up like I'm like, hey, what do you do on Monday? I was having a I was having a family barbecue. Okay, yeah, family barbecue. Mm. You know where that's from, right? A family barbecue. Where that's is that from, from Bad Boys, guys. The first oh, okay. Bad Boys. Oh gosh. Anyway, okay. um, and it's fine. We're not there. So again, I'm gonna go back to. That's <clears> like I'm <throat> a piano for you. Oh snap! I'm lying. So that question that I just asked you is from Malingi Kosa. Kamuhelo Miti asked. Have you ever considered apologizing for your mistakes to your previous employer and ask for your job back? Uh, no, because um, I wouldn't call them mistakes because like the weird thing about my c- career is that I've learned a lot from the mistakes I've made. I don't okay. think I'd be here had I not made those mistakes. You get what I'm saying? And there's nothing... See, what people must understand is that... Um, He's sounding very Caesarish right now. <laughs> Where's Mac? Mac! <laughs> That's, oh, funny. That's funny! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with all the stations I've worked at, it's never been about the product on air. It's always been about the off-air behavior. Jabubul. One hour twin. So so I can't apologize for being myself. You get what I'm saying? I, I get it. Because yeah. I, I haven't done like much wrong on air. Okay, fair enough. But you do know. Because later, I feel like you're not here with us. No, What's going I am on? very much here. Mm. Yes. Mm. And if, if, if anything, just to add on what you're saying, without sounding selfish, mm. I'd say I'm happy mm. because therefore it's like God kept you around for us. So. Look at the doors open. I, and nah, look at things get better. I, you know? My Ben. So in relation <laughs> <laughs> in relation to that, ne? Uh to For Lanin, the fact that you still have us. Oh. Yeah. Tulani Chunche says, uh but what, I think what's his surname? 
Nchunche. <laughs> wow, you were able to pronounce that. <laughs> what does that even mean? Nchunche. Ah, so names, so what names does never mean? had meanings. Okay, what does Mkwebo mean? <laughs> oh, shit, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. I lost my father. <laughs> <laughs> Since Lenny's going to reconnect you guys. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's my mother's same name. Um, <laughs> Tulani is asking, but I think partly you answered that. If you knew now what you knew then what would have been different in your career or yeah. in terms of what you know now if you knew it back then mm. yeah it's like i said earlier man like i learned a lot from my failures uh, that's why i'm here now you know and we can do this thing and um you know it can be a success that it is cool emmanuel madi is asking uh not a question just a thought mm. would make g interview artists celebs that are not mainstream but fucking things up like Muzi, Slow, Kamesh, I don't know who that is. Uh, a question popped up. Is McBenna as happy as he appears to be? I don't know who McBenna is. Oh, no, that's you. Yeah. yeah. Ah, no, guys. Apart from the financial situation, I've never been this happy. Like, um, uh, That's the second part of the question. You were happy. Yeah, very happy. Okay, cool. First part of the question. Yeah. What was the first part? It was, would you ever interview like artists that are not necessarily known mainstream. they're not mainstream yet. oh yeah yeah why not yeah why not i don't see why not okay i mean big is not mainstream we interviewed him yeah okay. yeah but is it mo- not mostly okay maybe just to analyze on that question was it um he or she not trying to say because normally it's people that you be like we've been like friends with, yeah, yeah. People you've known in the industry. True, true, so true. So this question is really literally coming from here. I am. I'm just my studying. Uh, yeah, my cards. Yeah. yeah, I think more than but anything, it's not about. Um, this is before even they gain uh, popularity. It's, it's it's not even about mainstream or not or popularity. Yeah. It's about the story behind the person. The story. Like for example, person. I'd oh, love sweet. to interview someone like the Big Hash. Len, I'm not even going to ask you because you. <laughs> Ghost lady, you know the big hash? I do not know oh, the big this hash. kid is... <laughs> oh! <laughs> you are not alone. Yeah. You are here with me. Uh, the big hash is like the new nasty C. He's uh, 18 years old. He quit high school. He's doing big things. He's fucking shit up. His story is amazing. I would love to sit down with him. Oh, sweet. You know what I mean? Nice. So for me, it's not even about how many followers or... You have. Oh. It's about the story behind the person. Okay. I mean, yeah. I was actually chatting to, to Bobster today. I'm like, yo, Bobster, fuck, we got to do an interview, bro, because your story is crazy. And he's like, ah, you know, I don't do interviews. I'm like, I know, that's why we got to do one. Because oh. the stories you have... Yes, yeah, so obviously, you won't gain as much views as Caesar at Lomo or Zintle. Yeah. But the people that will watch it will understand Bobster more. The yeah. Chillers. Yeah, the chillers. You know, because his story is crazy, dude. He's been with Kalawa since it started. Oh. Boom shaka days. Are you serious? Yeah, it's Kalabash. We used to rock. He was there. <laughs> he was there. <laughs> oh, wow. Maybe he'll remember me. <laughs> <laughs> was he carrying CDs there? Um, from Tepo Motepana asking, how has starting a podcast changed your view on the digital platform and how has it changed your view on traditional media? I'm supposing that's TV and radio. I think you can answer that. I've been answering a lot. Answer that one, my Ben. We share the same sentiments. Oh, he did ask. Oh, do, do we? Yeah. Look, I, I just think traditional media is it's 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 okay, but we live in an era now where people are moving towards uh, on demand. So I want to listen when and how I feel like listening. So whether I want to watch it on YouTube in my car because I can connect my phone to my Bluetooth, or whether I want to watch it at home, at midnight, whatever. You, It shouldn't be the queen playing at 9 o'clock on Zanzi Magic. It should be your choice on what it you It should be my choice when and how I want to watch it type of vibe. Totally. So I think the traditional media is trying to catch up to uh, the digital platform, but digital is moving way too fast. Yeah. Because traditional media still dictates on what you have to watch at that point and at that moment. Yes. I mean, if you listen to radio, yeah. it's, it's, the beauty about it is, right, uh, and the beauty why I love this platform so much mm-hmm. is that if you're listening to a YFM or a Metro, 
you can't necessarily podcast what happens on a YFM and a Metro because the songs that play and half the time they're talking shit that's mm-hmm. coming off, off of social media. Yeah. But now original content. Literally reporting back on what has happened yes, on social so media. So original, creative, well thought out content is now living on the digital space. Mm-hmm. And long ago there was a song, I think in 1975 or 1985, it said video kill the radio star but that ne- that did not necessarily happen i think now that the digital star is going to kill both the radio and the tv ah star. radio will never die radio will never die dog it's free this yeah. isn't free look it'll never true. die yeah, no no granted it's not free but you see the more 4ir moves the more accessibility is there mm. then the easier people have that choice. Look, in South Africa, yes, the bulk of the people in this country do not have access to YouTube or Facebook. So then go to America. There's still radio stations in America. Please record that. No, granted, there are still radio stations in America, but the biggest star in America right now, radio versus digital, is probably a digital star. Joe Rogan? That's what Mm -hmm. I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, gradually that will move there because, yes... There'll always be poor people, whether we wanna, whether we like it or not. That that that, that dynamic is always gonna be there. They won't afford what is affordable. But for a star to be a star, there has to be some level of investment that happens. So when big corporate comes in, big corporate goes to where the trends are. Numbers and right now. Numbers. Yes, numbers. where the numbers are right now. The numbers, the spending numbers, by the way, are digital because. In as much as Ukozi FM has 10 million listeners. No, not necessarily. I mean, radio stations uh, are, are billing about 50 mil a month. You can't say the same for digital. Wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> I'm not done with what I'm saying. In as much as Ukozi FM. He's right? talking about spending power. In terms of, it, in, in a sense that Ukozi is probably getting 10, 7 million. I think it's 7 uh-huh. million listeners right now. And you have. Make G on a podcast who's got a hundred thousand subscribers, and then you've got a nine four seven which has a million listeners. Pretty much based on each star on each platform, you guys would probably net, if not you, would net more money than they do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Now you are owning a platform instead of sitting on somebody's platform. Mm. Yes. Mm. And you are just a MacGyver compared to the seven. <laughs> the way you said in your. <laughs> <laughs> what am I saying? A MacGyver is a MacGyver. It was supposed to, make, to, to, be so, to feel so powerful. <laughs> and you are just compared to these big companies. And, and the irony about it is it's, it's like this whole halabaloo that's happening with. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to digress before we go back to the question. It's like this whole halabaloo that's happening with uh, Vatiswan Dacha. Mm-hmm. And like. Her the feeling Ferguson's. that yes, mm-hmm. and her feeling like she's being cheated by the Fergusons, whatever, whatever, whatever. I, I, I kinda hear her pain. And she can't necessarily unfortunately, if you've got that kind of a talent, she can't exactly act by herself and put a series <laughs> on Thank you on, That's on true. YouTube, right? Yes. But she yeah. can start her own Fergusons. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. It is not that easy. You see Nothing's there, easy, Chief. No, no, no. There are platforms. This, this, this right here, I'm not saying it's easy. By no means am I saying it's easy. But it's more executable than a party who are wanting to start a whole production line. But how many how many people have gotten uh, uh, um, Most gigs of- from 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 the social media skits? For example, Moshe, or who's that other guy that does skits for like the gay guy? What's his name? Kanyimbao's cousin or brother? Oh, Lasizwe. Lasizwe. He does yeah. skits. That's a, some form of acting. You, not, yeah. you see, and therein lies where digital, digital is comes killing. In. Yeah. So why, why can't that lady do the same thing? Vatiso? What? Do, do uh, social no. media skits? Yeah. No. no, that's an insult to her craft. How's that an insult? No, it's no not an ways. insult to her craft. But it's just that digital me- media has just allowed another platform for people to come in into the industry okay, and first, display their talents. First and foremost, ne? So we cannot mention. Knows. We cannot mention. It, I feel it's total utter disrespect to mention Vatiswa, La Cizwe, and no, we're not. Why? Why? We're Why? Not. In the same sentence. Why? Why? We're not. Why, dude? We're talking. Okay, sharp. Are you gonna mention Kim Kardashian on the same? 
sentence as Denzel Washington. Why is Kim no. Kardashian okay? Who's the Kim Kardashian in these three? La Cizue, Vatiso, and who's the who did you, who's you who's the other one? Did you say Moshe? Did you? Moshe. Yeah. Who's the Kim Kardashian here? La Cizue and Moshe are Why Kim they, Kardashian. They have no sex tape. They have a talent. Oh, man. They have a it's talent like and they're showcasing their talent. Yeah. Nah, bruv. Just like she has a talent. No, but it comes... No like talent is superior than the other talent. Dude, okay. I think, have you... Do you know Vatiswa's work? I know Vatiswa's work. Okay. That's like me saying I can't start a podcast or YouTube channel because I've been on radio. No, you it's the same thing. No, but it's similar no. to what it's the same it's thing. Similar to, yeah. similar thing. It's like my ego will not let me it's not, go, I mean, hey, here's my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's where Lenny is going. No, and it's, 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 it's MacGyver. It's Vatiswa is a, is a, is a performer. You right? cannot compare so is La Cizue. La Cizue and but you Vatiswa. See, they are able to perform or do what they do on soliloquy levels, for a lack of a better word, right? Vatiswa, however, on the other hand, she's done stage, she's done TV and whatever. She, you need to give her a character. She can't be uh, Normandia sitting alone. Yes. She's Normandia because she's been Normandia but, but, to but, certain but to she other can t- people in a production that she worked in. She can take the same, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The same direction Bola Cizue have taken. Not to say that she must do the same skits they do. She can use the platform that Bola Suze and Musha have done to showcase their talent, to showcase her talent. In her way, it's her platform, however she wants to. But she can't be... In, in essence, that's her... No, she can get, choose what no. she wants to Okay, granted, portray. I know she can, she can choose whatever. Okay, why, why, what can't, s- why can't she start a YouTube channel where she drops her own series once a month? But she can't do that. She doesn't have right. Oh, you mean her own series that she shoots? Yes. With what? What are we shooting with? Okay, you see two guys drinking alcohol on a Wednesday evening with a lady who's talking in the background that people can't see. It's not the same as shooting a series. But we started somewhere. It's not the same as shooting a series, my friend. It's it not the not, same. It not and it's not a, a it's, series. It's, no, but look. Maybe we're talking like saying it, it as a series. Same. No, no, no. You guys are missing my point. My okay. point is, ne, we started somewhere. Yeah. We used the best that we had to make whatever we wanted to do. Right? Mm-hmm. She could do the same thing. So I'm, I'm trying to give you... This is a 20, this is a 20 30 year veteran, bro. Dude, the game has changed. The game doesn't wrong. give a fuck yeah. about how long you've been in the no, game for. Okay. It doesn't give a fuck what you've done, dog. It's about moving with the times. She can use the best of ability, the stuff that she had. I'm sure she's worked with producers before that would shoot a series for her. I think that and then she uploads it on YouTube. And that's her okay. showcasing. Wait, and that's her showcasing a talent, the prime talent that you're talking about that is so superior, it can't live on YouTube. And by that, it can be pop off and Netflix can sign it. You see, the Wait. difference is, ne? the difference is, unlike you who decided one day to say, hey, I know you're having a family barbecue. <laughs> Come shoot this fucking thing with me. Like, hey, you all hey, live lady. You a family barbecue. You know? <laughs> hey, lady, can you come sit there and say a whole lot of shit, but we don't want to see you kind yeah, of vibes. Yeah. With shooting a series, it's not like... Len, that. I think forget I'm not, about I'm, the series. Forget about the series. I'm the, saying, I just gave you an example. I came up with an example now. You're getting into the semantics of the example. Yeah. All I'm saying is that with the knowledge that she has, connections that she has, create your own platform. Instead of whining about 100,000, 150,000 that they're paying you, create your own platform just like they did. Uh, who's, 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 who's the lady, the Fergusons, Connie? Yeah. She was getting ripped off at, 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 at Generations. So she woke up one day, started the Fergusons. And here we are. She's not complaining about getting ripped off anymore. Of course she's not. Exactly. Of course not. So Vatiswa must I'm take saying, a leaf from that book as no, well. What I'm saying is then if that's the case, then every actor is going to end up and having it, a production house. Why production not? House. Why didn't no. you start your own radio station? Huh? We're on the way, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the way. We're oh, on the way. Because you're already on the way. <laughs> We're on the way. <laughs> All I'm saying is, right, there are people... I think take it like this. Sorry to disturb you, Lynn. I think take it like this. If, for instance, what MacGyver is saying, imagine how all DJs start their own YouTube channels. You understand? That it's, becomes, not, it's not even... It's you know, not, you know, you know what Euphonic once told me? You know what Euphonic once told me? He's like, <laughs> as a DJ, club DJ... You must take any pay. 